If you've got some, uh, some powder that you've imported from say China and you want to test it to make sure that not only is it the right uh, barbiturate but also that it's pure and hasn't been cut or contaminated, one of the tests that you can now perhaps carry out at home is going to be demonstrated. What I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh out on these little portable scales 200 milligrams of the powder. So now what we do is dissolve the 200 milligrams of white powder in some of the water out of one of our two litres of distilled water we've purchased. 30 or 40 mils. Stir it up a little bit to make sure it, it properly dissolves. And of course, if it is Nemutal, which of course is what we're testing, and we're testing its purity, it'll dissolve very quickly. And then we add this water that we took out of one of these containers back into the container, this time with the dissolved Nemutal present. That's quite good. Now we mix this container up so we make sure it's, it's nicely mixed within all of the water here by inverting it a few times. And we use the first of the exit test kits. We'll be putting the, the end of the test strip into the liquid. The liquid will soak up like blotting paper Move along and we'll expect to see for positive for the barbiturate a single line at the level C. If we see two lines form, it's either negative or there's no barbiturate present or not a concentration which is large enough to be detected. I'm putting it in now, don't put it in too deep, just enough so that it just covers the tip. You'll start to see after a short time the liquid soaking up along the blotting paper, the liquid's soaking up now. You can see it moving up the strip. And there should be a single line at the level C if there's a barbiturate present. Now that line will become clearer within the first three minutes after you've dipped into the liquid. But it's a single line, it's at level C, so it's clearly a positive for the barbiturate. That's the first test strip belonging to the first bottle of distilled water. The second part of the process is we take two millilitres out of that container and put it into this next container. And we measure it out using a measuring pipette. I'm going to add that two millilitres into the second of the two litre containers of distilled water. So I measure out my two millilitres, it'll go up to that point zero and that's two millilitres. And you can see that that's on the two millilitre mark. And I take that across and I empty it straight into this second container. So I've taken two millilitres from that one and put it into the second one. The next step is that we mix completely the liquid in the second container and we repeat the process with the test strip. So I've mixed it up completely. I get a second of the exit test kits. Open it up. Same th process again. We take the cover off and we dip it into the liquid in the second two litre container. And wait till it soaks up. And as it starts to soak up, you can see that, see it's moving up the line.
And again, you can see a line forming at the level of the C. Put the cover on the second strip and leave that alongside the second container. We now repeat the process for the third container. The next stage of the process we use a fresh and clean pipette and a fresh and clean syringe for measuring out the two millilitres this time from the second two litre container. So I'm going to do that now, I'm going to measure up two millilitres. Two millilitres there and I'm going to move that into the third two litre container and empty it into the two litre container. And again we'll mix it up thoroughly, put the top back on the two litre container and mix it thoroughly and we'll do the test using a third test strip. Same process again, we open up the test strip, we take the cover off and we dip this into the liquid and wait for it to soak up the strip. So when you start to see that it's soaking up the liquid, you can bring it along and I'll show you it's soaking Now you'll see that the line is again formed at the C but if you look closely, you'll also see that there's a start of a line forming at the level of the T. And that means that you've just about reached a level at which the test strip cannot detect the concentration of the 200 milligrams you put in the very first container. Now, the fact that you were able to go to this stage before you saw the presence of the second line shows that that Nembutal that we added to the first container was effectively 100% pure. So the test to establish that you've got pure Nembutal is really the fact that by the time you dissolve into the first 2 litre container got a positive test. The second 2 litre container got a clear positive test, single line. But in the third container you've seen the start of an ambiguous test with the development of a line at the level T which suggests that it's only just reaching a level where it's undetectable. For a sample to be pure enough to get to this stage and still only show a faint line indicates that it must have been pure, the sample that we were using to test. In the exit test kit which we'll be mailing out, you'll be provided with a pair of scales to weigh out the 200 milligrams you'll need for the test and you'll be provided with disposable plastic pipettes and the syringe needed to measure out and move between the two litre containers of distilled water the sample which you then test using the test strips so that you can run through this process to give yourself the assurance that you've got the drug and that it's in a concentration that you would require for a peaceful death.